I just wanted to make a brief video today about what I found regarding noise on the Yesu FT710. Uh, I've moved to a new QTH and have been battling noise ever since I got here. I had problems with it in my previous location, but uh, I've been having to deal with it here and I figured what better place than a new place to try to find the sources, sources of noise and do what I can to eliminate the effects on the radio. So I found one major thing that I'm going to cover and then I'll show you some of the other things. As you can see here in a relatively quiet part of the band, when the needle uh, drops down to its lowest point, it's around an S4. Now I know I've got the uh, amp on and some people would say, well, turn the amp off. Well, I can turn the amp off, but that doesn't do what I want to do. Everybody does things their own way. And if I turn the amp off, what I get is a uh, much lower noise floor, but I also lose the ability to pick up some of the signals that I want to pick up when I'm trying to uh, make some DX contacts, which is what I enjoy doing and uh, which is why I keep the amp on uh, up to 20 meters. I don't use the amp on 40 meters, but I do on 20. So anyway, prior to this, uh, with amp one on, uh, a lot of times it can settle out around a S4 noise floor, which is good because I was getting good signal reports from Europe, I live in the southeastern United States, and from Europe, uh, I was getting signal reports of S8 and S9, but my noise level was so high, it was running about a S7 to S8, the noise floor was, on a, any given night, and they could hear me loud and clear, but I could not hear them because of the noise. Their signals were, let's say, a S7, S8, and when I had a noise floor of S8, S9, uh, I couldn't pull their, uh, pull their signal out of the noise in order to be able to uh, give them a signal report or anything like that. So I started looking for things, and this is going to be a video about how to find noise sources, more or less, or how I found noise sources. Uh, one thing I'd like to make note of to begin with, I'm using an, an external monitor on a Yesu uh, radio. You may run into what I ran into if you've got the same situation and you're using an external monitor. So what I did... I started unplugging things. Everything is plugged to a surge protector under the desk. I started unplugging things one at a time. The monitor, the radio, uh, not the radio, the monitor, other things hooked to the radio, other things hooked to the power strip, uh, telephones, things like that. And when I got to the monitor and I unplugged the, the monitor and killed power to it, I had an improvement of two S units. Uh, well, I would say one and a half to two. I was at the, On that day, I was running about an S7 noise floor. And when I pulled the plug on the monitor, it dropped to an, F, an S5 and a half. So there was a significant improvement. I knew I was on to something. So I tried to pin it down to either the monitor or something uh, related to the monitor. The, the power supply that feeds it power, the wall outlet I was plugged into uh, when I tried something separate di or different. Uh, I, I tried various things. And what I found was that even if the monitor was unplugged and I was only looking at the radio itself, what would happen was so I may gain an improvement in the noise floor of one and a half S units. But if I unplug the HDMI cable from the back of the radio, I gained another half S unit in improvement. 
And when you're dealing with noise, everything is, uh, you take a little bit here and a little bit there. And in the end, you end up with a significant improvement. So it's incremental things that make the difference. So I tried different things with the monitor. I plugged it into uh, a different wall outlet. Actually, one wall outlet made it worse. Uh, it was sitting behind the radio. I moved it from the radio to the other side of the desk. Uh, that didn't really help. I separated it by using a long HDMI cable to across the room. That didn't help. Uh, I, so I had basically resolved to the, myself to the fact that I was not going to be able to use the monitor if I wanted to get rid of noise while running an amp. Uh, on 20 meters. So I sat and I pondered this and I've been working on this for a couple of days and this is what made the difference. When uh, I even tried a different monitor, same situation, but what made the difference was this. I loaded up the HDMI cable with ferrite beads and this not only improved the noise floor when I was using the radio and just uh, on the monitor, but also, as you would know, many of you would know that when you're in your home and your air conditioner or anything kicks on, a lot of times it adds additional noise to your, uh, to your radio. These ferrite beads resolve almost all noise from most sources that I've found so far in the home, including my air conditioner. Uh, I also took, and when I was having problems with noise, I disconnected from this power supply and connected to a battery right here. Uh, it made very little, well, it, I won't say it made very little improvement. It made about a half S unit of improvement when I connected to the battery over the power supply initially. But when I put the ferrite beads on the HDMI cable, everything changed. The improvements uh, were solid. So, so even if the air conditioner kicks on, I do not get the noise like I did previously. And it's it's good enough to the point that even on the power side, I did put some ferrite beads on the power, but there's only a few. Uh, I don't think it makes that much improvement. And what what I'm, I've basically determined is the HDMI cable for the monitor, and I'm guessing the shield, if somebody has more knowledge than me, chime in here. The HDMI cable was acting like an antenna and was picking up environmental noise from around here. So as soon as I choked this, the noise off the shield of that HDMI cable with these ferrite beads, my noise floor dropped from an S7 to uh, an S4. It drops as low as an S4. I was doing good to have something as low as an S7 on most nights. So. Is significantly better now. If you have a radio and you use an external monitor, you can check to see if the monitor is causing noise by simply taking the monitor and the HDMI cable completely away from the radio. Kill power to the monitor. Uh, Take the HDMI cable off the back of the radio and see what you get. Adding ferrite beads to your HDMI cable may be the key. It worked for me. It may work for you. All right, so I've just had, just side note, I've just had my air conditioner cut on in the house. I'm dropping down to about a S5 now. So... There's still things to be done around the house here to find sources of noise, but this right here is significantly better 
then the S8 and S9 noise floor that I was having that was preventing me from making contacts, uh, DX contacts at night because their signal was down inside my noise floor. Again, there's more to do. Uh, I'll be looking at more things and as I find them, I'll let you know. I haven't killed power to the whole house yet. Uh, that's probably next on the agenda when nobody else is around to complain about me killing power to the house. I'll probably do that and then uh, see what that does. I'll run simply on ba battery at that time. Uh, but anyway, if you like this video, subscribe, share. If you think it'll help somebody else, uh, there will be more to come on this. That's my plan anyway. Again, I know I could turn off amp one to reduce noise, but then again, I would lose some of the gain that I get off of uh, the amp on these weak signals that I'm trying to pick up. So everything's a give and take. If you like this video, again, please share and subscribe. It. Subscribe to the channel. You'll know when I post the next one and there's more to come. So until the next one, have a good one. Bye-bye.